hey y'all welcome and welcome back it's one of your faves sin marie this video is going to be short sweet and to the point i just want to give you guys five mistakes new youtubers and also seasoned youtubers make sometimes there are a lot of seasoned youtubers that are still going through these and still having mistakes because that's life. Mistakes will happen. No one is perfect and it's a learning game. I mean, we can basically learn the game, but there's always something new we can learn. So I hope that you enjoy the video. One of the biggest hurdles on YouTube is avoiding the mistakes that can hold you back. It's many creators that struggle to grow their channels because of simple mistakes that can be easily avoided. So today I'm going to give you my top five mistakes new YouTubers seem to make when they're first starting out in the YouTube world. When you're starting out on YouTube, it can be very overwhelming. There's so much to learn from equipment and editing software to marketing and engagement strategies. One of the biggest challenges is standing out in a crowded niche. With so many established creators, it can be tough to find your unique style and voice. Another challenge is building an audience. It's not enough to just create great content. You need to get it in front of the right people. Consistency is also key, but sometimes it's hard to keep producing high quality content week by week when you're discouraged. Many new creators also struggle with branding and identity. They may not have a clear idea of who they are yet or what they want to achieve with their channels. This can lead to confusing messages and a lack of direction. Also, some creators might also focus too much on the numbers. Getting caught up on your view count and your subscribers is way less important than creating content that resonates with your audience. So what are the top five mistakes new YouTubers seem to make? Let's dive right in. They fail to optimize their videos in the search engine. This is a huge missed opportunity. The search engine is a powerful tool on YouTube. Number four is not engaging with your audience. This is a two-way interaction. You need to be interacting with your viewers and building a community. Number three is consistent branding. Your branding should be consistent across all of your social media platforms, not just YouTube. Number two is not providing value to your audience. If your content is not educating, entertaining, or inspiring your viewers, they're going to lose interest fast. And the number one mistake is giving up too soon. It's tough to keep going when you're not seeing the results you want, but the most powerful creators are the ones who keep going. Number one is a biggie. Giving up too soon is often the result of feeling discouraged by slow growth or lack of engagement. It's easy to get caught up in the comparison game by looking at other creators who seem to be achieving overnight success. But the real truth is success on YouTube takes time and effort. You need to be willing to learn from your mistakes, adapt to changes in your niche, and keep producing high quality content. So how can you avoid giving up too soon? One strategy is to focus on the process rather than the outcome. Instead of worrying on the numbers of views and subscribers, you want to focus on creating the best content you can. Celebrate your small wins and don't be too hard on yourself. When things don't go as planned, keep going. So in conclusion, these five mistakes can be major roadblocks to success on YouTube. But the good news is that they can easily be avoided. All you have to do is make sure you optimize your videos for search, engage with your audience, maintain consistent branding, provide value, and get through the tough times. You'll be well on your way to building a successful channel. So there you have it. I hope that these five tips, mistakes, <laughs> help you with um, your YouTube journey. It's a learning process, guys. Like I said earlier, even the most seasoned YouTubers have days. They don't always get millions of views. I know it may look like it to us because we're on this side, but it's a lot that go on behind the scenes, okay? So take your time, 
Stop worrying about how many subscribers you got. Stop worrying about how many views you got and just focus on high quality content. Focus on engaging with your audience, okay? Don't overwhelm yourself. Like if you don't feel like making a video one day, don't worry about it. Don't do it because if you still make the video when you're feeling how you're feeling, it's going to show. That's not consider high quality content. <laughs> so if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, your girl Sin is out.